going on guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage. So today I wanted to bring to everyone's attention, if you don't know already, the access port has an update. Um, I'm going to walk you guys through how to do this update and also it has one really cool feature that I know I've thought of quite a while ago and I was like, when are they going to end up doing this? But what it is, is you can now change the screen when you start it up. Um, you kind of see like the Cobb picture with a picture of a WRX. Now you can upload and put whatever picture you want on there. So I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step how to do an update. If you guys haven't updated your access port ever, this is a great time to do it. Um, there's always lots of new features and little bug fixes that they do, so I always recommend to update it to the newest revision. The first thing you're gonna need is to grab your uh, USB cable. Okay guys, so once you plug that in, go ahead and jump onto your computer. If you don't already have the access port uh, manager software installed, go ahead and download that from Cobb's website. I already have it, so I'm gonna show you guys what to do. Go ahead and go down to your launch pad. Now, I'm using an iMac, so this is on a Macintosh. But you're gonna wanna go ahead and go to your apps. Um, go to your Access Port Manager app. Click that, and it will connect. When you open up the software, it's gonna pop up with the uh, new revision. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna update the firmware on the Access Port to allow you to add image files and it will convert them to be your startup screen. And we're gonna reinstall the application. It's about a 30 megabyte file. All right, so now it says that the update to the access port was successful. All right, now we're gonna go back to manage. Um, if you see on here, what you have is basically saving the files to your computer. You have the trash can, you have the import a file, and then you also have this new camera feature. So that camera feature is gonna let you select an image. So I'm gonna just find something real quick. Let's use the picture of my broken access port. So that's 240 pixels wide by 320 pixels tall. I'm just gonna go ahead and eject the access port. Power cord real quick and we'll put it right back in and we'll see what this startup screen looks like boom there you go so it stays on there for just a second that just updated that i'm probably going to mess around a little bit more put like some kind of cool car picture on there or something it is a little weird since it is a portrait style picture i mean that's not something that you're normally going to like shoot you know that's where instead of holding your camera like this you're going to be holding your camera like this if you're using a dslr Cool guys, well I hope you liked the video. Um, you know, it's a pretty easy little thing to do, but I do always just recommend checking the uh, access port updates because there are certain things in the software revision that, you know, it's gonna help out the accuracy of the access port itself. They're always doing changes to these things and, you know, just continuing to make it a better and better product. So anyways guys, if you got to the end, um, just say I got to the end. All right, later guys, peace out.